Hey everyone, so I wanted to share with you my tiny orchid collection today. Um, there's an interesting one in the collection which a month ago I've had to root it in water. So the backstory of this is I had all of my orchids uh, in a tiny apartment room with a huge south facing window. So all of my orchids have been doing well in the past two years. Uh, they bloomed. Um, and even in the summer, they were really growing very well. So a month ago, I was living between two places and I had this orchid in question um, growing in this apartment. It wasn't doing very well. Every time I saw it, it looked really dry. I figured maybe more frequent watering might help, but it did not. So as the moving date came close, I had to do something about it. Uh, when I pulled it out, the moss and the roots were all covered in like tiny red spider mites and you can tell like the brick red color and the dust and sometimes they move too. It was really nasty. So um, I had to figure out what the best way was to take care of the red spider mites. At first I used like a dish soap plus oil spray on it. Still did not work. Um, next couple of days it didn't remove the red spider mites so in the end I decided to what's the best way to um, deal with something that thrives in a hot condition right so I rooted it in water and it's been doing really well since so here's all of my other orchids so like this one had it for two years it's so gorgeous i really do not want this to be infected with the same thing and so this is the one in question if you look at the if you look at the leaves like the leaves here you see super wrinkled like this never recovered but since i rooted it in water this has done really well the new leaves that's what it should look like So we are taking a look at this today. Um, since I rooted this orchid in water, it has grown new roots that are very green. I think it is adapting to water and it is just replacing the old roots. Rooting this orchid in water was a really good decision and it wasn't hard to do at all. So basically what I've had to do was to put the plant, submerge the roots in this cup of water um, and the water needs to be changed in maybe in the first week I have, I've had to change it once every two or three days when the water turns cloudy it's a good time to change it so I've kept this on a windowsill and really it does not smell at all the sun, with the sun sometimes you get slimy the, the roots gets a little slimy but what you can do is run it under the tap and uh, rinse it off so what we're going to do today is basically this older parts of the roots we're gonna cut it off I've used hydrogen peroxide to clean my scissors and yep we'll be snipping off the parts where the roots are starting starting to become useless So here we go, here's the orchid after it's minor surgery. Um, I've basically removed all of the roots that are squishy and probably just dying. Like if you press the casing, you can feel that it's hollow inside. All of those I've taken out and back into its cup of fresh cup of water it's going. I'll be posting a follow-up video on how the plant is doing in a few weeks but if you liked this video and you want to see more, leave me a comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.